Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. Today's headlines, Jamaican UN worker killed in Libya. And in sports, Chris Gale sets new record. A Jamaican is among three United Nations workers who were killed when a bomb-laden vehicle exploded Saturday outside a shopping mall in Libya's eastern city of Benghazi. He has been identified as Clive Peck, originally of Smithville in Clarendon. Mr. Peck is a former member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, where he served as a member of the Special Branch. His two other dead colleagues are from Libya. According to a statement from the UN Special Representative for Libya, Ghassan Salami, the staff members who died and were injured served with the UN support mission in the country. Children's home to be rebuilt speedily following fire on Friday. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has indicated that his administration will be moving quickly to rebuild the 46-year-old Papine-based Jamaica National Children's Home, which was damaged by fire on Friday night. Six units fought the blaze, which destroyed the entire upper floor of the two-story St. Andrew-based facility. The damage is estimated at $300 million. Jamaica National Children's Home opened its doors in 1973 as a branch of Britain's National Children's Home and became the country's premier provider of care and protection for children who became wards of the state. Following Friday's fire, all 41 children, 23 girls and 18 boys and seven caregivers were accounted for and no injuries reported. And in sports, Gale passes Lara's Windy's run record. Jamaican cricketer Chris Gale is proving more and more that age is just a number as he pulled off yet another feat on Sunday when he became the all-time highest West Indian run scorer in one-day international cricket. Going into the second ODI of the three-match series against India at the Queen's Park Oval in Trinidad, he needed just nine runs to surpass the tally of 10,405 by Brian Lara. Gale, who a month away from 40, was careful during his 21 deliveries eventually hitting 11 runs and placing himself ahead of Lara, taking his overall tally to 10,408. He was, however, dismissed without adding to that score in the very next over. Trapped LBW by Indian bowler Kumar to have the West Indies at 45 for 1 in the 10th over, replying to India's total of 279 for 7. Fraser Price, Thomas Dodd set new national and Pan Am record. Jamaican athletes had a ball at the Pan American Games that took place in Lima, Peru. First, it was Shelly Ann Fraser Price with her terrific performance, breaking the 40 year old record set by Evelyn Ashford in the 200 meters on Friday. The two time Olympic 100 meter champion clocked 22.43 seconds in the Peruvian capital of Lima. The following day, national women's shot put record holder Danielle Thomas Dodd became another Pan American Games record holder. Throwing a distance of 19.55 meters, a new national record, Thomas Dodd finished ahead of Canada's Brittany Crew with a personal best of 19.07 meters. She said it felt really good to accomplish the feat, although essentially she wanted gold. That's it for your CGN News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. Pleasant viewing.